Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna and I love all things color. We talk about makeup and skincare. Today is a fun lip swatch video. Lancome has come out with a brand new lipstick. Actually, this is their tinted lip balm. I know lip balm is all the rage this summer. Um, Lisa Eldridge just come out with a tinted lip balm. We have uh, Lancome and we have like several other brands like so many tinted lip balms and just like barely there. Oh, uh, well, what was the other brand? Um, YSL. YSL is like barely there uh, lipstick. I'll probably leave the link down below of all the tinted lip balm or tinted just barely there lipsticks that I've tried this summer because they're really trending I would say it's like they're everywhere but I wanted to give it a go so far but you know what let's just like swatch it and then we we'll, uh, I want to share what I really think about this category of lip product itself and then this product and then the actual Lancome product so this is so this is their second new lip launch I would say from Lancome the one they um, uh, I tried before is the absolute lip inti matte thing the one I have right now is the absolute inti matte uh, so this is like a satin lipstick if you're interested I'm gonna leave it down below the link for this product but this is from the idol a or idol or idol uh, rain um, uh, line <laughs> I'm saying there's the line and I think a few months uh, ago they also launched a like one and done like universal makeup tint uh, for lips cheeks eyes for everything that was also from the idol uh, makeup line I will leave the link down below again if you're interested but this is called the butter glow that's what this is called this the one I have on, on my lips is called uh, inti matte absolute inti matte this is called the idol squalene 12 i don't know what squalene 12 is 12 percent i'm yeah it says here 12 percent squalene so squalene uh 12 butter glow and oh that's that's what the ysl lip uh tinted lip balm was also called the butter balm i think uh and this is care in glow color balm up to 24 hour hydration uh, but nobody's actually going to be putting this on for 24 hours. So the one I got is the Move Tivation. I quickly want to talk about the uh, color range in this line. I said the same thing about the Inti Matte, the one I have on my lips. To me, they did not have a whole lot of color selection. Sure, they do have some darker colors, but they in the Inti in in this lip balm line. What is this called? Butter Glow line. But I didn't see like a I don't know like unique dark colors I didn't even see a red if I'm not wrong was there a red I just don't remember seeing a red they were like more of mauve tones pink tones light pink uh, so I kind of like picked up uh, like a medium dark shade at least the one that looked like medium dark so this is a move motivation this is in the number 47 so let me quickly show you the the packaging i have to say it's not very it's actually quite weighty and you can f like feel it's sturdy i'm not saying it's like very flimsy kind of looks flimsy though you see this clear tube and all those things it looks very flimsy but it's really not it's actually quite heavy uh this will add weight to your in your uh, handbag if you uh, put, uh, choose to put this in and it says Lancome right there and has this kind of like rose gold like uh, stripe going through it and then the rest is kind of like um, clear and then it has like a little uh, like square and it clicks right there you have to click it in you have to hear the click otherwise it means it's not secure it's gonna come right out you have to push it in and then you'll hear the click so being a bomb uh, it's usually supposed to come in a skinny tube and this also retails very similar in the 30 to 35 price range uh, I think maybe uh, 
around the same same range i think the inti matte is also the one i have on it's also in this very similar price range and let me tell you how much you get you get uh three grams of product which is actually quite good because usually these tinted balms and these very skinny the ones that come in skinny tube you don't get a whole lot because it the tube itself is quite skinny you usually get like half of what you would get in traditional lipstick but you do get a full three grams of product and i would consider three grams like a f like for me the standard is like a mac lipstick mac lipstick full size ones they come uh, in three grams and this is also three grams so you do get a good a, like a very good amount of product let's see what this says about the the actual product in the in the, dis in the like uh, you know description of what their marketing is about the product because there are a lot of like french here so i'm gonna see where it says oh here here is english 83 percent caring base formula so i think they mean um skincare supercharged with at least oh it's not 12 percent. they say it's at least 12 percent, so it's 12 percent or more and then it says after seven days uh less than 27 percent. it says minus 27 percent. you see that minus there it says minus 27 percent lip dryness after seven days so as you use regularly it says that it does nourish your lips uh, i haven't used it for seven days uh and i actually don't use the same lis lipstick for seven days i keep changing the lip oils and lip gloss yes but the lipsticks per se i don't really like use them and then it says that it can it has ceramides and biotech rose oil if i'm uh recall this right the Intimat had Grand Rose Extract. I don't know what Grand Rose is. And here it says Biotech Rose Oil. What does that mean? They're using a lot of like tricky big words, which regular people do not have no idea what that is, to be honest. What is Grand Rose and what is Biotech Rose? Anyways, my friends, let's I'm going to uh, just take this off this is also a really good lipstick it feels good i'm gonna leave the link down below if you're interested if you want to take a look um so you just twist it up and that's mauve motivation it looks very purple uh in the video i think but it's actually kind of like pinky brown like a mauve that like three or four years ago this was like the color right that's that color and i have to say Compared to Lisa Eldridge's lip balm, uh, tinted lip balm, and uh, YSL's butter uh, lip balm, this is actually much, much more pigmented. And it's not a, uh, what, what do we say? It's not like melt in the tube kind of a product. It actually is, it has some kind of like a pull to it. And i really like it to be honest i like it a lot uh of of all the tinted lip balms i've tried thus far weissel um and lisa elridge's this is the one i like it's a really good product and you get i think this is the product where you get the most i'm pretty sure lisa elridge's you get 2.5 grams of product and i do not remember how, how much you get in ysl i'm gonna take a look at it and i'm gonna put it down below but this is the one with the most amount of product and i really like the consistency there's some kind of a it's not like melt as you apply on the lips there is some, uh, a little bit of pull as you apply but i feel it's a good kind of pull and it's not like the product is not moving around the lips at all for being a lip balm you think that it's gonna move around the lips super thin no it's not a very very thin consistency it actually feels like a very moisturizing super nourishing lipstick it doesn't move around your lips it just tastes good and when i press my lips together it feels amazing it feels amazing there's a little bit of like um I don't want to call it tack it's not tacky but i can feel the lipstick staying put it's not moving around that kind of like a um like 
it's adhering well to the lips is what I'm trying to say. And I think I absolutely love this formula. I love it. I really do. I really wish I'm, I'm going to go back and see if there are uh, more flattering colors because let's let's face it. It's a beautiful color, but it's kind of washing me out if you ask me. And I want something much more darker and that would give me more definition. And another amazing thing is being so light. Look at that there is no white base it doesn't settle in the lines of the lips lisa eldridge's did settle in the lines of the lips yes that undertone of the lipstick was really good being a light color that also lisa's uh, tinted lip balm did not um settle in the lines it did not have a white base i'm so happy that this this doesn't have a white base as well but it's not the right color for me i don't think so it kind of like washes me out and i feel a little like oh don't I don't feel like myself in this so I'm definitely need to pick a different color but this shade particularly if you're interested in it it doesn't have a white base and you guys saw my lips are like a dark brown color it's not like a lighter color it has like a serious tint to it and with like three or four uh, or I, I would say with two uh, swipes it kind of like my gives me full opacity I love this product I really really like it and it has like a minty scent it's not overpowering I just do not f smell it I don't feel it as the product is kind of may or going may or may not like moving to my lips I haven't cleaned the inside of the mouth so maybe it is but still I don't uh, taste it nothing weird it's a 10 out of 10 product i'm like so surprised that i actually really like a tinted lip balm it's really good because so far i, I haven't been impressed i wasn't very happy i was actually quite disappointed with the lisa eldridge because i like believe in her products and the fact that i was like Ugh. it kind of like clung to the dry skin and it kind of accentuated the uh, texture on the lips. I was just like, it was okay. It was just okay. I would give like a um, 5 out of 10 for the Lisa because it was nourishing. But the makeup aspect of the tinted lip balm was just missing, to be honest. Because let's face it, a tinted lip balm is like, it has to have elements of makeup and skincare. And this is both 10 out of 10 makeup and skincare it is just there they just nailed the formula uh, for uh, the YSL one the I would say it was barely there it was just like barely there and uh, I would say both were kind of missing if you ask me with the YSL one and for the Lisa Eldridge's one uh the makeup part was just like a let down for me but the skincare the balm aspect of the tinted lip balm was really good it was nourishing it kept my lips soft but the makeup was just like it was a total miss for me but this like i said makeup and the skincare part of the product was is a uh, like they really nailed it so let me know down below what am i saying below what do you think if you're planning to uh try tinted lip balm of or if this is your favorite kind of like lip product for me lip oils is like my go-to thing lip oils and lip jelly that kind of like a bouncy consistency is my absolute favorite so then these like bomb kind of a product so let me know down below what do you think are you planning on buying this trying this out and i will see you guys very soon bye